How are you going to fuck up your own show? Oh, please. I get to edit it so you don't hear all the all the shit and the nonsense that goes on and how it's all gets screwed up. Mostly, it's mostly Ray. Yeah. It's mostly Ray who <laughs> I have to fix. Oh, I love Hello. Ray. You know, hey, Dave, I was listening to you guys complain about it being cold, like at 60 degrees, or was it like Dylan who was, you know, pussy at 60? Dylan like- is, Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I get it. Like, you, you guys, where are you from, Connecticut or yeah, something like that? I'm, right? I'm, listen, I'm in my basement. Yeah, I'm yeah. wrapped up in a blanket. I've got fingerless gloves on and a hood over my face. So, like, <laughs> I, I got flip flops on. Nice. Look at you. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, we get our our blood's super thin out here in the desert, man, and especially mm. young Dylan. That poor little guy. He gets so cold so quick. I Fucking bet. funny. Yeah. And and it's not like he's super skinny. He's 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 got a gut and everything, you know. I, mean, I don't get it. <laughs> need more more uh, more shirtless NFHCs. That's that's what we need in our life. <laughs> yeah. God, it's going to kill my love of the product if I get sued by WWE. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, you have love of the product. Oh, come on. <sighs> See, I'm. You know what, yeah, Dave? I, sorry, I just can't do it, dude. Yeah, I can't get into it. I'm not. I've I'm been not into to a Star live Trek, show. But like, I, I, uh, <laughs> I respect. I respect your admiration and love of that. But. <laughs> well, uh, you're you're just lucky you're not Dylan. Otherwise, I'd be shitting on you right now. Thank you. I appreciate. I like. I don't like. I, don't <laughs> I mean, like, hey, I'm in your house. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to shit on you in your own house. Please, please don't sit on my lap and shit on me. <laughs> no, stop it, Ray. Gross. Is this the episode right. of NFHC? What are we talking about shitting in laps for? Oh, oh yeah, I'm we, trying to get away from that. I want to make you feel at home, man. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 84 of the Rich Dickman Show, the podcast that is slightly better than mediocre. I am your host, I am Run, back again. I know it doesn't seem like it, we had a little vacation. We, we did some time traveling, it was fun, needed it. I don't know if you can tell at the end of the last episode, needed that shit, right? That's alright, hey, but I'm here, we got guests, that'll be fun, but first of all, it's Ray. Ray is in a shit world of California. Ray, what's going on, pal? It's going Jesus great. Christ. It's going God great. It. Over here in yeah, California, just enjoying everything about California. The weather has been amazing. Nice and sunny. You know what, Ray? I'm fucking cold in my basement here, but you just warmed me up by raising my blood pressure and pissing me off. Hey, you know how God nice the weather's it. been? On Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. I forgot to mention this last mm-hmm. episode, but I wore flip-flops all day. Wow. Wow. Speaking of wearing flip-flops, Ray, that's what our guest is wearing tonight from the Not For Human Consumption podcast. I'm not going to steal their gimmick and call them a barnacle of comedy or the antidote to comedy, the barnacle, whatever it is. I'm not doing that. That's not my gig. <laughs> I'm here to put the guests over. It's Dave. Dave, what's going on, buddy? Hey, guys. Well, not a lot. How are you? You're chilling, man. I'm I'm super excited to have you here. Um, next to Alan, Matt, Dylan, and Jay, you're my favorite host. And not for human. Yeah, yeah. I'm the fourth. I'm the fourth best, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I like that. Uh, <laughs> but this is this is a dream come true. It, hey, if I could take a moment, Ray, uh, if I have to break the fourth wall, go beyond kayfabe here. Um, the negotiations with Dave's agent Matt it was, were fucking ridiculous. I made it sound like it was a cake. Right. But Jesus, I mean, the demands that that I don't even know that Dave knows about this, but but Matt said, you know, Dave needs to do at least an hour. You need to plug the show every five minutes. Uh, we need to talk about <laughs> Dave and his. it's like all these demands. Stringent. I even had to take the brown goddamn yeah. M&Ms out of the pile. So thank you, Dave, wow. for making yeah. this happen. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and um, I just got to say, you know, uh uh, not having to deal with, you know, all the what have you's and ins and outs or whatever, you know, I mean, Matt's really mm. been been pulling his weight. So, like, you know, I, I, I don't even mind talking to you plebs. You know, I didn't have to set it up. I didn't have to type in URLs or anything like that. So I'm OK. I'm actually in a good mood. So, you know, Matt, Matt's, Matt's been great for me. God damn, that must be awesome to have like a whole team around you that that helps and promotes and does stuff for the show. It's fucking that's fucking great. I'm so, yeah, that, yeah that well, I mean, great. I'm the yeah, fucking talent. What do you want from me? <laughs> That's right. 
Sorry, man. <laughs> so thank you for coming, Dave. I've wanted to talk to you uh, two on one for a long time. I know we've talked on your show a couple times, and that's yeah. always been it's always been a pleasure. But you know, we're always surrounded by everybody else and everybody else's nonsense. And and now here we are, like you know, me, you, Ray. We're gonna just sit chat for a little while. Talk some, yeah. talk some nonsense. Talk maybe some Star Wars. Do some of our our segments. You know all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm yeah. on board. All right. So, Ray, before we get going, Ray, uh, mm-hmm. what what do you have? What do you have nice to say to Dave? Because that's actually that's part of the uh, agreement as well. You have to say something nice about him. Yeah, I was actually uh, li- catching up and listening to you guys last episode. Uh, it's called Curious Dave, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it sure know. is. Yeah, you guys got a lot of Curious George <laughs> references and this stuff. I liked it. Uh, I thought that was a, a, a very entertaining episode. I was actually uh, yeah. telling telling Rem that on the way over to uh, record this. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. We're, it's actually I mean, the first episode he's listened to. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, hey, you know, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I listened to a couple of you guys' episodes back when we were bullying you and taking your URL and all that stuff. <laughs> um, uh, and then uh, because because of my... Uh, copious amounts of uh, drugs that I do. Um, I got mixed up. We had we've got a, a a fan, a listener who who will come on to our uh, uh, Discord and he'll do the Dick Dickman show in crazy different voices. And then I just yeah. got super confused and I and I got the two mixed up. And I mean it was and, and you know then he will left and and then it all came back around again. So you know whatever you know. I mean I'm here. I'm having fun. Oh, that's uh, good. That's what it's all I mean, about. That's you're, right. you're you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, we we haven't seen that much of a spike, but I do appreciate it. Like, no, it, I got mad at all you're my Blizzard playing bite. audience, we've and they got, all disappeared. <laughs> we've got about we've got about eighteen listeners. Oh shit! Okay, so we're not that far off with our seven and three quarters. So, no, yeah, mm-hmm. seven and three That's quarters. Good. Yeah, yeah. It, it turns out somebody had a breast augmentation, so we added the three quarters there. I don't yeah. know how they afforded that, but whatever. All right, Dave. So real quick, you know, we've done we've done this with Dylan, we've done this with with Matt, but once you tell my audience again from your perspective, all right, because I know you do a lot of the work, you do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, and you know, slowly you're backing off, letting everybody else chip in and help out, and I appreciate that. You know, it's it's good <laughs> on you. But once you tell us a little bit about not for human not for human consumption and the podcast and what you guys do every Friday night. Uh, every Friday night, um, we get together, uh, me and three of my close friends and we sharpen our teeth on each other. Uh, we, we absolutely shred each other's, um, hopes and dreams, uh, for about two hours. (laughs) Uh, we show each other terrible, terrible videos, um, and we make fun of, uh, the things that everybody else enjoys relentlessly. It's, mm-hmm. it's quite fun. Um, sometimes we have guests, uh, we have segments, um, that everything's, everything's off the cuff. We don't edit anything. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't call myself a comedian, but I mean, you know, it's just, it's all impromptu. Um, I mean, we don't script anything, but sometimes rich, really funny shit falls out. So I'm just going to keep doing it. You know, we're on That's episode right, 105. It'll be tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, Actually, it's, it's the Drunken it's Weekly update. That goes yeah. without saying. We get plastered every fucking time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, if, if I may ask, and you brought this up a few minutes ago, so I think it's okay for me to go there. Uh, when you are recording, it, uh, allegedly there is some use of substances that may or may not be legal. Uh, what, what do you find harder to record on? Drinking lots of booze or using lots of substances? Well, um, booze. Yeah. Absolutely booze. I get sloppy. I mean, mm-hmm. well, you know, I smoke a bunch of pot, you know, like, uh, and uh, I don't, I don't care if my boss knows that I smoke a whole bunch of pot. You know, I don't. It, it, it's 2019. That shit's gonna be legal anyway. That's um, right. And what I I'm I'm a fucking I'm an artiste or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> it, it. The band te- the band teacher doesn't fucking smoke pot. That's weird. You know, like <laughs> yeah. It, it is what it is, and you know, I mean, it, it, I am a character of myself a lot of the times on the show. You know, I, I ham a lot of shit up, and you know, I'm, but 
you know, it is what it is. If it encroaches on my personal life, then I think good. <laughs> good, whatever. Bring it on. I don't, you know, I don't, it doesn't bother me none. So Ryan is a band teacher. So I, I have to, I'm going to pat myself on the back here, my friend. I, I taught myself how to play the bass. So that, look at that's look awesome. At me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's, Ray, that's have probably... you taught yourself how to play an instrument? No, for one year, I asked for a guitar because I wanted to be able to teach myself. And yeah. I don't know where the guitar is anymore. I gave it to somebody else. And, uh, you know, you play play for like an hour and your fingers hurt. And I was like, ah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I play for like two hours every day at least. Bass guitar mostly. You, you got uh, that your, I, I your weapon of choice? Tips. Well, I do it all. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a multi instrumentalist, which means I'm not good at any one thing, really. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm fairly proficient at, at drums and guitar, and and I can sing and oh, you know, hold a note anyway, hold a tune. Uh, mm-hmm. Bass guitar is, I, I, what I do, I work with uh, folks with special needs, and we've got a crazy thing going. Um, it's pretty much the only thing in in, in the country. Uh, really that uh, uh, has a uh, program like we do, but we center on, on most, it started with music, but it's branched out into everything because it's, it, it's exploded. But think Jack Black uh, in School of Rock. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, nice. I'm Jack Black. Nice. And, wow. and we, 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 it's rock band, you know, um, uh, people of all different abilities, uh, you know, and, and I help them figure out what they're best at and what they can do, what they what they want to do. And I got a oh, knack shit. for cranking out drummers um, for some reason. Uh, we got hella sponsors. I mean, Marshall, Fender, Orange, Korg. You know, these people just like want to give us gear. You know, wow. like, and uh, we oblige <laughs> and that we use cool. the shit out of it. That is awesome. We've got two. I, we've got two music programs at, 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 as it stands right now, and we're opening up a third here, uh, the beginning of January. You're all here in the Phoenix Valley area. I was not expecting all of that, sir. I was not expecting <laughs> any of that tonight. You just well, kind of derailed because everything. You to my show. You Why is that? Asshole. Well, I had, I had no <laughs> because you guys are to go about on. to shit all over me, huh? No, because now I feel bad for wanting to shit all over you. Yes. Like everything I yes, planned. I know. Like, you guys are, <laughs> no, don't hold back. Don't hold back. The only well, reason I, want, I the only reason I do such a wholesome thing is is, is to make up for all the rest of me. I mean, like I'm a stuff. huge garbage person, like yeah. absolute garbage person. <laughs> okay. I have to do something like this, otherwise I'll you know kill myself. I don't know. Oh, don't yeah, well, no. I um, no, but that that's go, go what's ahead, so Ray. awesome about podcasting and, and just I don't know, the internet really, but hearing stuff like that, because if, just listening to your guest podcast, um, like you were telling the story this last episode about, um, who was it? Your roommate brought somebody, you know, lady home and she was sounded pretty wild. Right. Um, that was Jay. God damn it. Oh, no, that was Jay. Yeah. And I, got <laughs> I, I, I get the two, two of us mixed up. <laughs> My bad. I was, uh, I, was I can't little... tell who's saying, um, <laughs> but, but just in general, like the, the podcast is like you said, you do a lot of shitting on each other and just talking right. trash and it, like that, that whole, uh, that's like the mantra of the show. You guys do that pretty yeah. much the entire time. And so to hear you doing right. something like you said, so wholesome, it's like stark contrast, right? You know, <laughs> like completely opposite, which isn't actually that surprising other than I didn't know any of that. You, you know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, I know it's really cool to hear that. It's uh, it's just interesting to hear what best people job, do. Best job in the world, oh, and then really I get to, I, right? I'm a, yeah, absolutely. And then I, you know, I, I still, you know, get to be a degenerate piece of shit on Friday nights. Yeah, that's uh, you can't really God ask for much more than that. I mean, that that is actually like really that's that's kind of dream dream scenario right there, where you got a rewarding job, and you can pretty much Fuck. Uh, detach from that outside of work, right? And yeah. really let loose, and no repercussions. You don't show up to work, and they're like. So I listened to your podcast and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. That was a pr- pretty sweet gig I'm, there. I'm doing life wrong, <clears throat> man. I'm doing life completely wrong. God, I need to go out to oh. lawless Arizona and yeah, uh, move to Arizona. <laughs> it is the wild west out here. Yeah. Just live it up, man. 
Dave, you know, I was, uh, I was uh, in, in a, um, an adult music school a couple of years ago and I was, I was lead singing in a band before I taught myself how to play bass because they didn't want me to sing anymore. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I was more of a, more of a performer rather than a singer. Uh, so, okay. you know, you had a bunch of lamos up there, like reading off sheet music. I had everything memorized and I'm moving around and, and just, just, you good, know, good. just performing, man, getting the crowd going. So, um, hot drummer newspaper tell you, <laughs> I, I can't carry a tune to save my life, but goddamn, did we have fun? So, <laughs> well, that's the important part. I don't give a shit most of the time what I sound like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, as long as I'm I feel having better fun. About myself. That's awesome. <laughs> man. Well, Ray, hey, we got to take I'm a trip out to Phoenix. Right. Yeah. Yes. Let's hang out. Let's do it. You guys are more than welcome. Mm-hmm. That's right. We'll just crash at Dave's place. Yeah. Well, yeah. we got. I got couches. Nice. Yeah. I. I <laughs> can, one of you guys can sleep under the podcast table. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I, I'm glad you said podcast table because that just reminded me of another question I had for you. So the the studio has moved into your into your place. Um, Correct. And you've got an elaborate setup there, as you can see on YouTube. All right. And I love watching the show yeah. on YouTube because it just adds that extra bit to your, to your show. Does does that get dismantled when everybody leaves or is it just up 24-7? Nope. It just it, stays it up. Stay, it stays there. Yeah. Okay. L- uh, luckily, my roommate was uh, – she's a, she's a listener and um, she's been with us since the beginning. And uh, uh, she offered up, you know, the, the space and, you know, told us not to worry about, you know, how long we – stay and you know and i mean we, awesome. we didn't use that space before so and See, it, that, it all that, just kind of tucks back in that corner you know and yeah that's great i have i have there. one laptop in my house and i have to share it with my kids for their schoolwork so <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking breeders man I don't, how you put up with that shit i don't know murder I, that kid I, yeah how do you not murder your children it. guys well, you know, it being against the law, that's probably the first one. Ah, uh, so, that's a good point. Yeah. I, I yeah. About five things like that living out here in Arizona. Yeah. And most of the time, I, you know, most of the time I enjoy my kids. Most of the time. Uh, so <laughs> they keep who me. The, who the, was that you, Ray, that, that went to Disneyland? Yeah. Who the fuck brings a side by side stroller to Disneyland? You fucking ruthless, horrible person. <laughs> Don't do that. You do if, you, if you're going to do. Is there two of you? Was it just you? Oh, Come on, Ray. No, so so this is what this is why you do it. See, you don't do it because you're putting that many kids in there. You do it so you don't have to lug around as much shit on your in your hands and shoulders and pockets and stuff. You put it all in the stroller. We have the the three month old kid that we put in there, right? And then on the other half, you just put like your all your souvenirs, your your food. Can't you're you not just eating. get the bobsled one though? Like the the the, the you know front back. Yeah. Come on! Now you're just fucking taking up space for no reason. So I can have more space yeah. around and keep the people away from me. Keep them out of my personal yeah. space. That's rude. Plus, those strollers, those double strollers, they make them so nice now. They're like the perfect width that they can still go through the doorways without hanging up ever. So, you, so you don't actually like run into the doorways and stuff. So you actually can go pretty much anywhere in those. Other than you know, you go into the stores and the, all the racks are super close together, but. Other than that, I mean, you just go around anywhere. And, dude, running over people with those things, I'm not going to lie. It, so this one's, like, double <laughs> wide, and it has a little – it comes to a nose on the front. It's got one tire in the front, and then the, the ones on the sides and the back. And, man, it's like a – you know, like a the the flying V in, in Mighty Ducks, man. You just roll through people. It's a, like going through the crowd. Like, the, it just – you hit them with the front bumper, and they just jump out of the way. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's worth it. What having kids is worth it just to drive a side by side stroller just, through fucking just the life. stroller? I, I wouldn't say you ha- need to have the kids to have the stroller. You can go rent the strollers. They have strollers in Disneyland. You can just go rent the stroller. Ooh, you know what, dude? Do use that that's as a, carry that's not your a bad around. fucking idea. I, I think I think yeah. you might have hit on something. That's what I'm saying. Here. So my wife was well, before we left. She's like, should we take the single or the double? I was like, the double. Like, what do you want me to carry a bunch of shit around? Like, fuck no. I'm taking. We're taking the double. I was like, I don't even care if the second kid gets tired. They can sit in there, but. It, 95% of the time, we're using it to just lug all the crap around. Oh, yeah. It, it's great, man. Well, I'm just going to... Next time I go to Disneyland, I'm just going to rent a stroller. Yeah, like Fuck 20 bucks kid. or something like that, which is totally yeah, worth Yeah, that's it, absolutely it. worth it. And you can park it in the... Just start fucking parking. shoving people out of the way. Hey, the other thing you yeah. can do Ooh. is if you go in and you tell me of like sciatica or something like that, they, there's no way for them to prove it. So then... You can get like a, they give you basically like the a fast handicap. Path shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, hey, bro, I can't be seen doing stuff like that out in public. <laughs> <laughs> but then what they'll let you do is if you need to or want to, they'll let you take the stroller through the line all the way through the lines. So you could like just lug your shit with you if you want to. <laughs> people, wow. people look at you like, what are you doing with that? And you're like, yeah, my, my back. 
It's like it's right. sciatica. <laughs> sciatica, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's brutal. War injury. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not how sciatica works, but all right. So, <laughs> uh, Dave, so <laughs> I'm going to, I got to get, before we move into everything else, I want to get nerdy here for a second. Okay. Cause you guys have recently been talking a lot of Star Wars and you got, and you just been, you recently got back, got into Star Wars Rebels. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. I didn't, okay. I mean, I'd heard of it. I didn't know it was a thing until Disney Plus came out. I guess it was yeah. on the Disney XD cable channel, which I haven't had cable in a number of years. So, see, a lot of people um, missed and, out on it because they marketed that first season like to kids on Disney XD with that goddamn robot chopper. Right. So, all the commercials, and I know yeah. this because my kids watch a lot of Disney Channel at the time. So, they had this Star Wars Rebels car- cartoon coming and like, oh, it's a Star Wars show for kids because they all the, all the ads centered around the fucking droid. Uh, and is it animated? But once you got like, yeah, yeah it's animated. It is animated and it's okay. very similar animation style to the Clone Wars, oh, okay. which I was right. a okay. huge fan of. Yeah. And, uh, so I, like, I'm, I'm listening to you guys talking like, shit, I want to talk about that because they geared it towards kids and it fucked up the whole first season. Cause once you get like to the end of the first season into two, three, and four, it gets, it gets pretty good. It gets, it's like, uh, yeah. Well, I've already met Darth Maul and Grand, Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm into, I just started oh, season three. So yeah. So yeah. you've already gone through yeah, the, um, the the uh, the Darth Vader Ahsoka fight right, correct yes that was amazing. yeah yeah fucking badass okay that's cool I don't have much to add to that I didn't finish season four yet because I I, I don't know I got busy with life um but that's cool yeah, I feel and, you yeah now, I heard um, you guys chat chatting a little bit about the Mandalorian uh, what are your thoughts so on it now it's, uh, yeah. this is the it's way blast. and yeah. Baby Yoda is my life <laughs> all I want <laughs> well you got kids if yeah. I, and I go to work and I talk about Baby Yoda to, to everybody at work. I'm like, hey, did you see did you see Baby Yoda drinking soup? Because that was fucking great. Right. Because that guy, he's just sitting, standing there, just drinking soup. He's like, Baby Yoda needs a stroller. Because the goddamn Mandalorian's like walking to this town. And this fucking little baby's like walking behind him, almost getting eaten by some weird right. alien cat. Like, that's not being a responsible parent. That's, What's his stride? Like three, four inches tops? Yeah. Like, fucking, how does he, expect I don't understand up. that. At least got to carry him or some shit. Like it's just little little things, just just waddling along, and people are looking at him. It's like you know, dude, you you collected a bounty to 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 get this thing, to get the baby Yoda, right? And he's just gonna like nonchalantly walk into some some hip hick bar and just let the guy, right. you know? It's like you just went on, through you know, three episodes there. of bullshit over this thing. And you're just gonna let it fucking cruise around? Hey, watch the kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got the whole galaxy of bounty hunters after him now for the, for the kid. And he's just going to, yeah. Hey, he's, he's going to toss some stranger he's never met before a little coin. Hey, watch a kid while I go fight yeah. this woman outside. <laughs> right. Yeah. So then, uh, that girl, what's her name? Yeah. Uh, With the actress or the character? Uh, the actress. Gina Carano. Uh, yeah. Gina Carano. Uh, she yeah. was in Deadpool. She was. Right? She was the Russian chick. Yeah, That's that right. Was, yeah. That was, she was like the girl bad guy. Yeah, when the pool. titty popped out. In, in, That's right. In, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Colossus, Colossus was like, um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, and so here's the deal. Like, she, I thought she was big. I thought she was like six foot or something. She's like five, five. Yeah. No, um, listen. I, they don't make too many female MMA fighters that big. They're usually pretty compact. Yeah. yeah <laughs> yep. This is true. Yeah. But I didn't I mean, understand I don't know much why about female big. MMA fighters. So. <laughs> not your thing you're not into that <laughs> or male mma fighters yeah or my cousin MMA fighters was a male all. mma fighter dave did you know that really yeah if you go um, to episode 41 it's called the italian stallion he uh he was oh. on that show with with huel yeah uh, we didn't talk much about mma maybe a little bit but he he's had several professional fights and was featured on the show uh tap out he was the opponent oh, okay. for the guy who was featured in the show. Yeah, and he he lost, uh, but but he uh, he still trains in in jujitsu and has a school and everything here in Connecticut. But uh, that's yeah, it's pretty exciting. Crazy, yeah. His ears are all I colorful don't know and shit. MMA fighters. I don't. I there's not too many too many of those MMA guys in the music circles. No, I don't <laughs> imagine there are. <laughs> Maybe like Slayer fans and stuff like that, but the, them's ain't my peeps. Yeah. Um, all right, Dave, you, before we get into our bullshit you said you have some stuff for us, you wanted to get us on. So I'm going to give you the opportunity. Well, I, I, I did want to, I, I already touched on one thing. I wanted to give Ray some shit about, yeah. you know, whatever, but he's showing me the light. I think, I think, oh, okay. I think, that, uh, but, uh, Rem. Yeah. Rem. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yes. 
Do you drink breast milk? Do I drink breast milk? I haven't in several years. Why? <laughs> well, I, I just heard you talking about it a couple episodes ago uh, when when Matt was on, and and yeah. and your wife's uh, remedy to everything is to drink or squeeze some breast milk into on it. What what what's that's, the deal with that? That's Ron? my wife. See, God. That's Ray's wife. Oh, Ray's crazy ass yeah, wife is Ray's, the breast milk yeah. wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm back on you now, <laughs> yeah, Ray. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No. That, <laughs> what dude, the fucking fight? And, and Matt didn't even bat a goddamn I eyelash. Know, right? <laughs> that's well, he's on his ball. best fucking behavior. I know. Tell me about this, Ray. Yeah. So so I we I got a three and a half month old and a six year old and a nine year old. Right. So oh. I still because my wife will know if I discard it. But still have breast milk from the six year old in our freezer. And, from the six year old. Uh, yeah. So it's I, six. God, that's what I'm saying. You have six year old like, breast milk in your freezer. I know. <laughs> and, and I'm like, why? And she's like, well, we might need it. I'm like, for what? We haven't used it in six fucking years. Why would we need it now? You're, you're already, you're breastfeeding this three month old. Why don't we just replace it? Like, no, we need to save. I don't fucking know. Like, what? It doesn't take up that much wow. space in the freezer. I don't really care. It's a back. I don't, whatever. Well, out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so think about it like this. First, well, now I'm in the apocalypse, your, your freezer ain't going to work. Damn. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of how this would be somehow beneficial. I don't know, man. I know. I don't. I, I think we're on the same page. It's crazy. I'm, I'm not. I don't support this. No, 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 bro. You, you know do I mean? support it. You do support. You had yeah, kids you with that girl. <laughs> because yeah. I haven't thrown it out. <laughs> we used to have a bit. Uh, we haven't done it in a while. It was uh, uh, when if she bad gone wrong, and like <laughs> that's like you know if she bad you know you know she bad, but if she bad gone wrong is keeping six year old breast milk in your fucking freezer, dude. <laughs> to do something about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's, hold on. It's the uh, you should make you use a breast milk cheesecake. I'm non about it. I'm non committal about it. Right. Which is like the yeah. you, you're like oh yeah let me uh, let me run that up the flagpole <laughs> those 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 kinds of things where you, <laughs> you don't really you say something but you don't actually take action yeah that's that's how I'm mm-hmm. about it <laughs> you don't you don't like this do you Ray you don't like being confronted about your six year old breast milk I, I sense the discomfort <laughs> oh no we can talk about it I'm just saying I I'm not gonna like confront my wife but, eh, maybe I will you know what I'm gonna do at the end of this episode I'm gonna walk downstairs. And I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to put it on the no. counter. And then when my wife no, no, gets no. home, then I'm going to throw it away. Call her ass no. into your recording room now. And let's have a conversation about your six-year-old breast milk. At, yeah, at the bequest of a complete stranger <laughs> in a different state. I want you to fucking you go start to, a fight with your wife you to, right do now. Do you want me to call her right now? <laughs> she's she's not here. Right. She's not here right now. Otherwise, I would. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's try I don't know. Maybe I'll come back for that one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can get you on not for human consumption and, and your wife and oh and god the, oh <laughs> heyday <laughs> Matt didn't even fucking make fun of you what the fuck Matt oh clip me on this Matt I'm coming for you <laughs> Dave Dave it's it's the white claw the white claw makes you soft bro you know this but yeah, yeah it totally does yeah oh. you bitch. Uh, oh my god oh my god so I was just gonna try and look up reasons like for why my wife might want to keep it so I can, I can, so I'll confront her about this and we'll, I'll report back next episode, but it has these <laughs> okay. six. This is called <laughs> six amazing uses for breast milk. Number one, treat ear infection. Number two, clear up acne. Number three, soothe teething pain. Number four, mm-hmm. heal diaper rush. I mean, those are basically like little Jesus. kid stuff, right? Number five, heal cuts and scrapes. I mean, what do you what do you do? Just like drill fuck, it on make there? a paste out of that. Yeah, shit. Th- they sell stuff for that. They sell stuff for all of this. Yeah, right. And then number <laughs> yeah, six, but you get it for compl- free out of the tit. <laughs> yeah, you're true, right? I mean, I, all I can think of is is like Genghis Khan, you know, uh, <laughs> keeping all the pregnant chicks, you know, with the raiding parties, so they could all suck on on the, on the titties, oh, you know, like. Well, oh, oh no, no, what was that movie? Oh, it was the Fourth Mad Max with fucking Tom Hardy. But he had, he, uh, they had all the, the girls hooked up to the pumps. Oh, that's right. And they had yep. the mother's yep. milk. Well, that, that's Man, a- you all have some crazy shit up in Northern California. <laughs> crazy shit. Well, that's what this sixth option that it suggests here is a complete curveball compared to the previous five. It says, make cheese. 
<laughs> Which is oh, like, oh, why would oh, I? Why the fuck would you do that? Breast milk cheese. That would okay. So that would be, if this were our show, breast milk cheese would be a episode title, at least in the contention. Well, now yeah. I'm considering making some and maybe like send it to you guys, but not <laughs> tell you that it's yeah. breast milk cheese and just tell you it's like oh, some some goat yeah. cheese or something like that. Yeah, yeah well, I'm on you. Northern California cheese. Yeah. You know. Hey, but but here's here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do, Dave. <laughs> so we'll, much smog. We'll do that, but you and I will be in the know. The other guys won't. All right. <gasps> and then I love it. you just don't actually eat it. Like I'll, I'll, I'll give you Matt, Yeah, here we go. We Matt will know because he listens. Yeah, but only Matt. So the other two will. You know, Matt can pretend. Well, Dude, we'll, I we'll edit like this so that we say we're I will feed it, it to Dylan and, and Jay though. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this is great. This is a great bit. Yeah, I like it. This is uh, it's like brainstorming on the spot. This is you know, the creative yeah. juice is flowing, like being in a band. This is fantastic. This is I love. It. This is why I do this podcast. I don't do it for listeners. I do it just to be creative. That's right. I do it for the listeners. That's all I care about. Dave, I got to say, Dave, I do. I am a fan of your name. You know, right? I like I like the name Dave. So good on you. Oh. Um, what else do you have to get on us with? Or or, or are you was that <gasps> was that it? It was something. God dang it! What was it? Yeah. I don't know. You know, see, and this is why this is this is why I should take notes. There was one other thing, and I can't remember what it was. But All right. well, it'll probably it, come it, to me later, and I'll just blurt yeah. it out, and I'll ruin your guys' bits. No, don't, that, that, don't worry. Good. Yeah, Th- there are no bits to ruin. You're 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 good. Blurt it out when you feel it, man. It's just that's what this show is. Just like yours, it's improv, man. We just. We're just right. going with the flow. We're going to see how this is. All right. So you now you listen, you listen to the show. Well, at least three episodes. So I appreciate that. And so you, you know, all of our <laughs> regular segments that we do. So I figured it'd be fun to have you on board when we do, you know, all our, our normal segments and bits. All right. So I'm just going to go down the list and we'll just do them one by one and just give your thoughts as we go. Uh, again, these are things we do every week. And, um, so you should be pretty. I, so, I got to give right. a disclaimer. I don't, I'm oh, not yeah. quite sure what the, the, what is it? Sven? Sven. Svensson. Svensson. Yeah. I'm not I don't understand that bit, so you're gonna have to explain <laughs> it's to me not when we a get bit. there. Like that's he just calls in. He just that's calls in and yeah. he's called in. You you might have to go back a few more episodes when he was a little more regular, but that's just him, which is okay. that's yeah, what okay. makes it so amazing. Like that's just natural and, and Svensson. It, and if I may just take a moment here, Svensson, I'm talking directly to you now. Okay. This is this is Rem talking to Svensson. Svensson, I, I, uh we were never bored of any of your Dick of the Week nominations, nope. okay? They were all fantastic. We may have teased and made fun of a little bit just because of the ridiculousness of the, of the story, and we're just, we just we, we just want more. We need more of that, okay? So please, mm-hmm. and if it helps, we won't improv the Svensson bits anymore. I don't know, maybe, maybe you found a, took offense to that and we were trying to make up on our own, but we only did that because we enjoyed what you brought so much. We want to keep it going, and, and the audience loves that. If you look at all the likes we got on me saying, hey, I'm not mm-hmm. bored with it, so bring that shit, Svensson. I know it's busy. I, I know it's Christmas time, man. I'm busy too, okay? I'm up at five o'clock in the morning every day and I'm going to bed. Who knows when? All right, I get it. It's that time of year, buddy. But listen, Ray and I commit to this podcast and that bit every single week. We're down and I'm down in my freezing fucking cold basement, all right, to bring this entertainment to our seven and three quarters listeners, of which you are two of them. And we need <laughs> that from you, pal. All right, we, we need... We need the Svensson Dick of the Week nominations, all right? It's just not the same your content, bro. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, let's move this on is where to, this uh, is where we'd be playing the sad violin music through that whole yeah. bit right there. <laughs> well, let me chime in as well, Svensson. I like your right. your submissions enough that I made a custom meme in response to that. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. come on. Like, yeah, yeah, and it takes enough. Ray. It takes literal seconds to make memes. Okay. Yes, at so, least fifteen to thirty seconds to make that. So, yeah. Yeah. If that, if that helps at all. Right. All right. Let's move on to our first segment of the night. And now it's time for that weekly segment that we like to call what sexual acts would you perform for money? (laughs) All right, Ray, what, what would you do for money? Yeah. Dude, I love the segment. Um, I would, I would now for the, the, Proper amount of money, which to me is one hundred dollars. I would suck a big toe for three minutes. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Very good. Yeah. You know, I, I'm running out of options here. We've been doing this mm-hmm. weekly for a long time, and there's only so many sexual acts that, that one could do. So, I, you know, I hate to be lame about it, but you know, listen, I'd get down in the armpit. 
You know, if I paid, you know, a couple bucks, I'd get down in the armpit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't mind. Dave, how, how about have you? you, have, have, you like a, have you never had a Have you never had a woman lick your armpit? No, no, I'm I'm talking about me going to town on the armpit. Like, you know, if I get my armpits licked all the time, bro. Like, something. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do for money? Uh, sexual. Well, I mean, uh, I would definitely, um, I would, I'd make out with a dude for a minute for a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Okay. Like yeah, that's fair. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't fault you for that. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, I'm, man. I'm, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Yeah. I think okay. that's a good one. Yeah. All right, that's a good answer. All right, let's uh, yeah. let's do our next one. This is again, these are regular occurring weekly bits. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we take a sip of our drink and remark on it. I love this one. Oh, yeah. Yes. This All right, is a good one. I've got I've got my Evan Williams bourbon here. As you can, you can might hear the ice cube. And um, I missed this last week, Ray, when we recorded. And you could tell in my performance, it was terrible. So I've got the Evan Williams tonight. We've got Dave with us. Uh, here we go. Mm. Oh, God, that's fucking good. All right. Ray, what do you got? I have Golden Road Brewing, which is from Southern California. The Wolf Pup Session IPA. Here we, here we go. Mm, that's tasty. Nice. Sounds tasty. Dave, how about you? Um, I, um, hang on one second. Uh, this is a Stella Artois black. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah, I had never seen these before, so I picked them up and they've been in the refrigerator for about a week or whatever, but, uh, mm-hmm. I've been having one here and there. Um, uh, and that's just to wet my whistle and, and, you know, get the social lubrication going, but I got yeah. a, uh, a, a spectacular blue dream. Um, here, mm. that, here, let me. I mean, Ooh, is that weed blue dream fancy? Yeah. You say yeah. That, okay, yeah. I've heard of that. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, smooth. Beautiful. Now, is that a sativa or an indica, or is it a hybrid? Uh, it's a hybrid. Nice. Okay. That's is it correct. lean one way or the other? Uh, it's it's a touch a touch more uppy than down. Okay. All right. I love the science that's behind up. it. So yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Interesting. All right, I like that segment. I didn't know it's a Stella Artois made a made a made a black version of their of their beer. So I, have to I didn't know that either. Yeah, Easy. sounds uh, sounds pretty good. All right, let's go on to the next one again. Uh, here we go. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we tell you what we packed for lunch on Wednesday. Oh shit! Okay, so today's Thursday. I have to remember. You know, we do this every week, Ray, and you'd think I'd be more prepared, right? But, um, so, uh, for lunch yesterday, you know what? I had a, I had a light lunch yesterday. I, um, <clears throat> because I was leaving work early, so I didn't really take a full lunch. Um, and so I didn't pack anything, uh, except my, my normal fruit for breakfast. I had a banana and orange. And I went down to, cause, cause I had been told that there's a new coffee flavor at McDonald's, a, a, a like a cinnamon cookie coffee. So I went down to McDonald's to go, go try this really? coffee. And, they didn't have it. Like, I'm like, hey, what flavor of coffees do you have? Oh. And like, oh, uh, we got vanilla and caramel. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I ended up getting uh, some French fries. So I didn't pack my lunch, but that's what I had for lunch. I had some <laughs> French fries. How about you, Ray? <laughs> like, where's my coffee? We don't have it. I'll take some fries. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> um, well, normally, uh, very frequently on Wednesdays, I had been going out to lunch. But this week... I packed some chicken that I made the night before and rice, and it was actually it, it was quite filling and uh, really hit the spot. Hmm. Um, just you know, it was just it was just right, uh, well balanced. Balanced. It just was it, it for that day. It was really, it really uh, worked out well? Was it from the Asian side of your family or the Mexican side of your family? Because there's a big difference there, mm-hmm. right, Dave? Dude, I'm so jealous. I'm just yeah. Italian. Oh no way! I am Asian, too. You Holy get shit. you get Chinese food and you get Mexican food. I'm so jealous, Dave. How are well, you so Italian I... with that last name of yours? Well, I'm adopted. No oh, lore. Okay. The, the first oh, episode of NFHC that. podcast is called Dave's Adopted because none yeah. of my friends knew that I was adopted. I, I was told that. You know, when we had Alan on oh. last year, he told me that. So. Yeah, and then and then it was probably I don't know a, a year ago or so. I took a twenty three and me. 
uh, genetic test okay. and found out I'm mostly Italian and Greek. Nice. Oh. We'll see. So I'm I married into the the Hispanic side, the Mexican side, and they're they're from actual Mexico. Um, oh, okay. And, but about a year ago, my dad, uh, at the behest of my my two sisters, took one of those twenty three me or whatever DNA tests, which. I don't know if you'd caught this on one of the earlier episodes, but he discovered that he's half Asian, which was a complete surprise. So I'm down. Yeah. So about a year ago, I became 25% Asian. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. Lots changed, you know, get to celebrate yeah. Chinese New Year now. I mean, it's, it's yeah, pretty that's fun. Great. <laughs> Dave, what did you have for lunch on Wednesday? Oh, uh, yesterday. Yes. Um, yep. I had tacos, uh, wow. beef. Shredded beef tacos. That's not real tacos. Well, that's what the uh, Hispanics tell me. Well, <laughs> I get uh, got to be time. tongue or head tacos. Yeah, well, cabeza. Mm-hmm. I've had cabeza <laughs> taco lingua. before. Lingua. Yeah, uh, I've had lingua yeah. before. Uh, that's what cow tongue. Yeah, cabeza yeah. is brain. Is cow brain. Yeah, the brain yeah. I've had that. It wasn't bad. No, oh, dude, it, you gotta oh, make plastic. carnitas. Carnitas is the carnitas best. is uh, that's delicious. Mm-hmm. I had some carnitas, uh, dude. I, I, you you don't know Mexican food like you you guys. I mean, I'm I, I hate to I hate as a white guy telling a Mexican you know a Mexican dude that he doesn't know <laughs> Mexican food, but come to fucking Phoenix, dude. We get we got the good shit here, man. No, dude, it, I, I've, I've had Mexican food in other places, and I mean it's good, but it ain't like it ain't like it is here. No, I'm not actually Mexican. I'm married into the Mexican side, but <laughs> so I'm zero Mexican in me as far as I know. No, but I live in the valley, so I like there's dude. It's, yeah. It feels like 75 percent Hispanic right. around here. Like so, there's a, I get a lot of Mexican food in this this town. Oh yeah, and um, hey Rem, yeah. Pumpkin spice lattes, okay, yeah. But the mm. the the current seasonal is the best. The peppermint Gingerbread? white mocha, yeah. No, fuck no white peppermint white mocha. White. You know, I Dave, I respect your ability to be wrong. All right, so I will not argue I, with you. But uh, <laughs> the new the new sensation is gingerbread. Uh, so I suggest you try the toasted gingerbread or any type of gingerbread you can get your hands on in a latte form. Oh. So. I'll give it a shot. Okay. All right. We just got a couple more of these. So, uh, you know, these are fun. We love doing these every week. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we tell you how the weather was today. You know, (laughs) here in Connecticut, like it's, it's cold, right? But it's about, we got up to like 41. There's still snow on the ground. We had a snowstorm earlier in the week. And, you know, they, they predict like Monday was going to be the bad snowstorm, but nothing really happened down here. It's Tuesday, like Monday night into Tuesday, we got like four inches of fucking snow. Like, holy shit. So, you know, it, it's not really melting because the sun hasn't been out. It's about 40 degrees. It's not great. It's supposed to hit 50 soon. So, yeah, hey, Ray, how's that California third world weather doing? Oh, man, it's actually been pretty nice. So, to yep. I, I like it. It's been in the 50s and 60s. Um, but you know how California people are when it's 68 degrees in the office, everyone's like, Ooh, it's cold. Let me put yeah, a sweater like on. Like Dylan. So, it, yeah. 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 Fuck, yeah. Little bitch. Grow a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. It's, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like how's that the weather, weather in, in Arizona. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, it sprinkled a little bit this morning. Uh, oh, shit. You must have like 17 60... accidents in the highway. <laughs> actually uh yeah it's the last couple of days. I, so here's the deal with phoenix uh when it rains fucking people go crazy Same like they don't know what California. the hell to do dude yeah, yeah. Well, and, and then on top of it like then there's the people who like don't go crazy and, and then they you know we get a lot of sprinkles here and there you know and then the oil kind of just comes up out of the road Ooh, so then, yeah. then it's even slippery you know and i'd rather it be fully wet but so we, yeah. we get a lot of roads like that. A lot of small fender benders, people sliding into curbs and shit like God that. Damn. But Fucking people are stupid. And we got a lot of snowbirds here too. So, <clears throat> you know, the seasonal uh, residents. Yeah. Okay. I love it. All right. So, Dave, you know, Dave, you listen to the show, so you know, you know what's coming next. I- and now it's time for that weekly segment we call Rich Dickman Wants to Know. How are your poops? <laughs> oh, I love this one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I'll, I'll start this one off. My poops. So yesterday, 
normally right around like eight in the morning is when I'm it's it's uh, full on poop time slash Twitter time slash texting rim time. <laughs> Uh, but that didn't really happen the last couple. So it's been more of an, uh, an afternoon slash evening thing, but I mean, they've been fine. It's just different schedule. I think the, the Thanksgiving meal and the long weekend kind of threw things off, but you know, it's, yeah. uh, it'll do that. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm gonna, it, yeah, yeah, it happens. I'm gonna go a little different here, Ray. I, um, actually had a, a GI doctor appointment earlier this week <clears throat> and, um, Oh, and uh, I used to work at that GI office, so I got to do some catching up with uh, with the PA who who saw me. And what's fun about him is that he talks to me like a, like a homie, you know. And he starts swearing, and it's like, yeah, when you shit, it's going to happen like this, and you may not ever be able to shit normal again, but you're gonna. <laughs> oh, it's always going to be an adventure. Yeah, so he, oh he gives God. me the real talk. Yeah, which I appreciate wow. because you know the medical terminology of stool and bowel movement. Sometimes that's get like you know, get a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not not relatable. Yeah, it's not relatable. He's like, man, you just gotta fucking get on that toilet and just, you know, just, and just shit, brother. And like, all right, cool, man. Good to see you, Rich. We'll, I'll <laughs> see you next year. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Dave? <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like clockwork, uh, every morning. Uh, yeah, a little bit of nicotine and a little bit of caffeine. And, yeah, yeah. And then, like yeah, that'll do then it. And bam. And, Sounds like uh, something maybe I should try. Um, a little more nicotine in my life. I mean, I suggest mm. it, you know, like, uh, you know, and yeah, I, I tend to spend a little bit too long in there scrawling. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. uh, I mean, I, I tend, I, I tend, mm. I'm, I'm a fairly healthy guy. So, you know, I don't, I don't get the beer shits too often, that sort of thing. Right. <clears throat> you know, when, when doesn't float, kids, doesn't It's a great sand. way to escape. So, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, I did the stepkid thing for about 10 years. And, uh, mm-hmm. but I, 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 I was a different kind of, Dad, um, I made him heal me in uh, 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 Warsaw Gulch. Oh. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> that was you were a Warcraft dad. dad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dave, did, did did you know yeah. I did a world famous World of Warcraft podcast several Dave years ago? World famous too. No, I did not. Yeah, I I was the host of a wildly successful podcast called Torn Think Tank, where we gave advice to World of Warcraft gamers. No. That was you, yeah. That's so Shit, weird. You listen to that too. Well, I mean, I'd heard of it. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I never listened to a podcast mm. once until I started my own. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, that's there's fair. that. Yeah, that was You're me, like, man. What are we doing that here? That was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After after episode one fourteen, cool, I had no me idea. and my co-host famously publicly broke up. It was great. It was very really exciting. Uh, that show wow. ended earlier this year. Yep. Oh, yep. like Maddox and Dick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. Just that, the, the whole really Maddox and Dick thing is so so weird for me because like I remember Maddox was a fucking hero of mine when I was fucking twenty. You know, oh, like, I know he, absolutely. He, he, he was hilarious. He was a the a, the pioneer trailblazing troll. You know, yeah. and like it was I don't know, and he I don't know. It's just a crazy crazy turn of events and that spiraled into. The whole thing with the stereos and everybody else, like it, it was nuts. I remember skipping classes when I was trying to go to college and just reading, you know, articles off Matic's site and just being in best, tears. Yeah, best page in the universe. Yeah, and it's like fuck. I just I thought it was brilliant, you know. And then uh, it was almost it two was. years after I broke up with my podcast that they broke up, and um, it was like maybe a year and Crazy. a half. Yeah, no, it, it was so similar too. So. Oh man, that's that's exciting. All right, all right, let's. Uh, okay, let's see what we got next. <laughs> You know, hey, it's music. that weekly segment again, where Rich Dickman asks, what did you wear on Sunday? Ah, okay. God, I got to remember what I wore on Sunday now. Shit. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, Sunday was kind of a lazy day around here because we knew the, the weather was coming on, on Monday night. Um, so we didn't do too much. So basically it was jeans, you know, and I had a, uh, I had a, I had a t-shirt on. I think it was my Rick and Morty t-shirt. And uh, for my birthday, I got a, a Joe Robinette hoodie. Uh, Ray, you know, the camping guy that I watch all the time. Um, you know, my family always, you know, because I don't really give a shit about birthday presents because, you know, God, I'm fucking old now. Who cares? So they just get whatever I'm into, whether it was a Rick and Morty thing last year, the Joe Robinette. So, so I had the Joe Robinette, Joe Robinette sweatshirt on, on, on Sunday. How about you, bud? Uh, so <clears throat> it's football mm-hmm. Sunday around here. So we're my, oh, my jersey. Right. Jesus, he's one of those guys. Basketball shorts and, yeah. uh, Try to lounge around on the couch all day. 
Hero you Sports? think I know this because we did this a couple of years ago, uh, weeks ago, but yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty, I mean, pretty much the same thing every Sunday. Uh, just, well, you know, there, there's a, the Sundays that uh, we got other obligations, but yeah, pretty much this Sunday was a, one of those wear the jersey, watch football all day you, type of Sundays. Do you wear the jersey over your bare chest or do you wear a t-shirt underneath the jersey? I wear a t-shirt under it. Yeah, you have to. Those jerseys are... Yeah, they're, 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 they're comfortable. It's one of the authentic ones that has the stitching, like that. You know what I mean? Not the screen yeah. print. So, so you do get the scratchiness on the inside. Therefore, you yeah, know, I have a well, number of hockey jerseys that, yeah, yeah. Like you just cannot, absolutely cannot what are you, wear a Coyotes that. Coyotes fan? Um, a, a touch, I guess. I mean, I, I used to be. I, I'm not into sports at all. Hockey was the last <laughs> one I gave a shit about. And I just have some jer- jerseys left over. All right, yeah. <clears throat> Dave, so what, what did you wear on Sunday? Sunday? Yeah. I uh, so I wore my hiking shoes and some sweats and a t-shirt and a flannel and a backpack in a backpack all day. Yeah, all day. Well, it's had my water in it. You know. Oh, oh, you said you were hiking. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Nice. Hey, can I ask you a question? Uh, On Saturday morning, you know, after you guys are done recording, not for human consumption, and and you go to sleep at some point, like how? What's, what time on Saturday morning are you getting out of bed? Like, are you finally, after all that, like, it how depends. long does it take? Yeah. Like, if it's a heavy drinking episode, uh, you know, usually eight. If it's, okay. um, if it's something more like mushrooms, it's earlier. Okay. Um, and then every now and then I don't do anything at all, which is weird. And fuck those days. I'm up at like five. doesn't matter Jesus. if yeah, I don't go Saturday, to Saturday. Yeah, yeah. If I don't. Yeah. Even on a Saturday. Yeah. I'm old, man. Fucking. Yeah, no. I don't the older you get, the less sleep you need, I guess. I don't fucking know. But what I don't you, sleep. You, you're so. older than I am. Like, are you 40 now? I, I'm 40. Yeah. yeah. I just turned 39. I turned sucks. 41 in March. Okay. It's also worse. Yeah. Hey, man. You got the back pain yet? No. <laughs> Dude, please, I've had the back pain for years. I hurt oh, myself GI a job a few years ago. What's that? A GI, GI doctor. doctor. Oh, did you get your oh, call yeah. inspected? You said GI doctor. I've had doctor that earlier. several times since I was 26. Yeah. Because I've, you know, I'm, I'm an IBS oh, really? guy. Oh, you got a history? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've been there, I, both ends. Yeah, I've done it all. <laughs> but you know, it's you know what's my, funny. I've had to that that whole you're saying have a history. I'm like shit. My my dad's supposed dad did, had did a lot of drinking back in the day. So so much yeah. that he had a he literally at, at one of the local bars had a nameplate engraved where where he uh, <laughs> used to hang out all the time. Like I'm not wow. even kidding you. So my parents. <laughs> Growing up, they were like, hey, we don't want you to grow up to be an alcoholic. So let's – if you make it to 21 before you start drinking, we'll give you 500 bucks. And when you're like 18, oh, 17, nice. yeah. that sounds like a lot of money, right? Turns out he's never been my dad or my grandpa, right? Like he's oh. not – so so it's like you got to reevaluate everything, right? That's what – it's like, dude, this uh, whole 23 and me brutal. thing is – yeah, it uh throws you for a loop. Mm. So I don't even know what my family history is, but I, uh, maybe I should just go to the doctor and get checked out for everything. Be like, yeah. What do you check? Sure. What do you check Asian people for? <laughs> uh, I just became Asian. Poisoning? What do you check me for? <laughs> can I can I say that to him? He'll be like, no, you, you can't say that to him. Fuck are you? He'll be like, All what right. the fuck are you talking about? Doctors, uh, like, get out of here. I, Ray, we got we got a couple more. You got, you got to wrap it up. We got a couple more of these, okay? Because Dave has right, he yeah. can't. Dave's Dave's old. All right. Yeah, I gotta get to bed, man. <laughs> and now it's time for the weekly segment where we ask this week's guest. Are you pregnant? Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Every week we do this one. This is I love this weekly segment. It's so much fun. So, so, so Dave, what's the answer? Dicks. Yeah, are you pregnant? <laughs> uh I am. I am not pregnant. Okay. Have you ever been okay. pregnant? I I have not ever been pregnant. Okay. Cuz you know, now that it's 2019, you know, when you get the woman pregnant, you are also pregnant. You need to share in that experience. That's great. He was pregnant for yeah, 9 yeah. months leading up to August. So okay. Is that, Did right. that suck, dude? <laughs> yes. Did you no. retain a lot of water? It, oh my god, yes. He's <laughs> pissing all the no, time. I have never impregnated a woman, therefore I have never been pregnant. Oh god bless you. Well, I mean, how do you manage that, that Dave? Like, do you just like do you pull it out uh, last minute and wrap it yeah, up? Yeah, so we're, we have a we have a we have a segment um, on our show uh, where every time we have a guest on, we ask them the, mm-hmm. the the one question, and it's in or on. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm an on kind of guy. Okay. Right. And, you know, I time things. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. Who knows? You know, maybe my sperm's broken anyway. But, yeah, I just, I've, I've been lucky maybe. But, yeah, fuck that. I don't want to pass these broken genes on. What are you crazy? <laughs> do you remember, do you remember the answer I gave the first Blame time I was on kid. Show, Dave? Ooh, uh fuck i don't no all right it's probably best i don't repeat it but um it had to do with it's making it, sure right it's making sure be it. It was, oh, oh no, no you pull pulled it out and got it on a, on, a, on a curtain or something just keep it far away keep it far away <laughs> yes yeah well, well so you married into uh, oh that makes sense ray uh, like latina girls they're they're super <laughs> super fertile dude like like you can't just pull out if, if you cut if you come on a latina girl she's pregnant like you have to go in the other room. Hey, yeah, other one. <laughs> you're preaching to the choir. I came on her belly three times and she's pregnant. <laughs> I got three kids, dude. Like, <laughs> and I was. Yeah. Oh, spe- speaking of coming, I, I um, came in a car. You guys, yeah, outside of her three times. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you still got a pregnant. So pregnant. Of common, still got you, you, you guys talked about this a little bit the uh, uh, a couple episodes ago. Um, I participated in No Nut November. Oh yeah. yeah, you fucking loser. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I, I made it sixteen days. Yeah, I made sixteen days of no not November. <laughs> sixteen days. Yep. That's how long I lasted, you guys. Dave, so you you said you had the help of a lady when you when you did blast a nut there. So yes, was it okay? I got I got a thousand questions, and I don't want to ask all of them. The first question is: Was it like did you see it when it came out, or was it like all wrapped up and just threw it away? Oh no, no! It was glorious. Yeah, it was like okay. It was so it wasn't oh, like yeah, thick it was, and droopy like, and all, yellow. No, no, it was it was like it was like I took a supplement. <laughs> like uh, like it was it was it was stout. Nice, okay. and it was like a, it was all over all all over the breasts. So it was like a like a porn movie. Like it was, nice. It was entertaining. Was she impressed? Like was she one of those girls who gets turned on by it? Uh, yeah, but I mean. You know how I do. She couldn't see at that point. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right. Good for you. Wow, nice. Um, um, but it- so here's here's the twist on that. Yeah, Dylan, and I'm pretty sure he uh, he's still got to crank his fifth one out. We're doing destroyed dick December. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it with the number of days, right? So it's, it's, today's the fifth. Yeah, do it five right. times. So today's yeah. the fifth, and I have I have already finished my fifth. <laughs> oh. uh. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I don't think, I don't know if, I don't know if Dylan's, uh, we talked like he, five is the max that he's had in a day. I don't know if he's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything yet. So I did two the other day. I was fucking exhausted, man. Jesus Christ. I don't know <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, 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 my cap is five. So I am at my, um, oh. my, uh, so, limit today. So can tomorrow you do we'll see number six during your recording. Like, Get up and you know do it in the sink or something. That'd be hilarious. I, my, <laughs> under the dude, desk, that, yeah. that would be fucking good. Yeah, under the yeah. desk. That's I why you want to sleep under the desk if we visit you. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's why we do it all. Hey, do you believe Dave in the celery trick? Where if you eat a bunch of celery, you'll produce a lot more volume of semen. <laughs> I've heard this, but yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, I've also heard the supplements, and you know, I don't know. Whatever. So you haven't measured. I- you haven't, no, you haven't I've, done, I've never bothered. No, I've done the celery trick before, and I don't know if, if it's just in my brain or not. But like, yeah, there's a, there tends to be a lot more volume when you eat a bunch of celery. So, you know, something to remember, oh, Ray, when, uh, when when you're out in town. I don't need more. Right, we got. I got three kids. I need less. No, no, That's I'm not. You were... <laughs> curtains, Ray. You, you shoot it in the curtains. God. Yes. Right. There you go. <laughs> and now. It's time for that weekly segment we call Why Do You Have a Drinking Problem? <laughs> um, so I thought I did due to genes, but apparently it's just just because I do. You know, same answer as last week, I guess. Uh, what about you guys? <laughs> it doesn't change much, man. I mean, I like, I just, you know. I, it makes me funnier on a podcast. That's all. Yeah, I don't know why we, we keep doing the same every week when the answer is the same. Dave, why do you have a drinking problem? I know it's kind of stupid, right? Uh, I wouldn't. 
I hate to I hate to be the guy, but I don't have a drinking problem. No, God bless you. That's awesome. Well, see, that's why we do this every week because it, there's a yeah. part of it that changes. There's at least yeah. at least one, <laughs> one answer that changes. I remember every week. copious yeah. amounts of marijuana, though. You guys, like, I mean, yeah. from the time I wake up till the time I'm I'm asleep, like I am stoned. So that could be a problem. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Dave, I'm I'm really glad that you don't have a drinking problem, and um, yes. you know, I've I've I do know that uh, that uh, marijuana is a good a better substitute than alcohol, and I advocate for I the legalization of marijuana and the prohibition of alcohol because alcohol makes people assholes, whereas marijuana makes everybody cool. <laughs> well, no, so right. here's the deal, though. I do drink, I especially oh. since we moved the show to my house, I drink yeah. every episode now. And yeah, that's yeah. simply because yeah. I'm way fucking funnier when I'm drunk, dude. No, you have become more entertaining. That is that is certainly true. <laughs> or it, it just 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 entertaining is fine by me. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're down to our, our final three. Our final three, and we can wrap this one up. God, every week we. It's do time for that weekly segment where we tell you. Here comes the next segment. All right, Ray. Jesus Here comes Christ. the next segment. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we remove our pants. Oh, oh shit. Sweet. All right. Hold. Beat, I, All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let me get him off here. All right. All right. Pants off, dance off, gentlemen. There, there we go. All right. Dave, have you ever been tempted to like, like have a dick measuring contest with the other guys on the show or like just walk around just swinging it around like... Because I know it's, I'm not, it's not a gay thing or anything, just show how big your dick is. And I know you have a large penis, like me. And sometimes you just kind of want to, like, alpha everybody. Like, I like to alpha Ray every uh, once in a while. Not top him, because I'm not gay, but I like to alpha him and just show him, remind him how big my dick is. Like, today, Dave, I had a, um, a salesman come into my office to sell me some product, you know? And I don't like salespeople. I'm not a big fan, uh, especially this, like, the swarmy guy. His name was Giuseppe. Right. And he had that, that, that like that, that, that creepy Ugh. long Italian person hair. And he was a young guy and he had that, like that weird pale northern Italian white skin. You know what I'm talking about. And, and he started, y- yeah, telling I me, do. Yeah. yeah you I like northern Italian about. women. I hate northern Italian men. The worst. They absolutely, they're the worst. Yeah. They're, you know, my, my, my Italian people are southern. We're, we're Sicilians, right? But, uh, you know, this guy's me trying too. to get me. It, it, oh God, we gotta talk more, Dave. This is awesome. Um, fucking, uh, <laughs> he's trying to get me like to, to buy his shit like right then and there. And I'm like, listen, Giuseppe, um, I'm, I'm not like the other people you've talked to in the area here. I like to get all my shit straight. So I would like a, a, a printed write up of your proposal. And I want you to show me exactly what you want to do before I move on this at all. And I got to do the math here and make sure it works in my budget, man. Yeah. I alpha that bitch and he like, he cowered like a little nice. Pup. It was great. Yeah. Great. His yeah, shoulders nice. slumped, and he was just like, yeah. just a greasy, shivering mess. Absolutely. Well, see the, the 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 I don't know. I find the best way to alpha on somebody is, um, you know, to let them know that you just don't fucking care at all. Yeah. Like okay, a I lot thought of, you were gonna say like, actually just like, rape them one, or something, but all right. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not Dylan. Come on. No, but but I mean, like, uh, cut them off a lot, uh, yeah. and uh, you know, I mean, it just just they're they're an afterthought. Yeah, you do that, and and they nobody nobody ever will feel any any smaller. That's right. It's like I don't need you. You affect me in no way whatsoever. Yeah, that's a, that's good advice for all the all the young men listening to our podcast. Uh, it totally is. Well, it's like yeah. the you know if don't be you, a cuck. If, <laughs> if you guys have ever had like the younger sibling, right? When the younger when you start teasing your younger sibling and they just start freaking out and you realize you're getting to them, you harass them tenfold, right? It's that same concept, like or, mm-hmm. but in reverse. If you're like, uh, I don't care, then they go, oh, well, fuck, I, I'm moving on to somebody else, right? So yeah, oh, it's the best of you can do that, yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm totally on board with that. Tips, tips for alpha, alpha ing, dudes. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. What we got here. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we ask Dave from the Not for Human Consumption podcast, "What's <laughs> your take on that sexist Peloton commercial?" Yeah, I forgot that we do this every week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every week. You guys are fucking dicks. 
A what commercial? What do you mean? Why are we dicks? What commercial? <laughs> that sexist Peloton, Peloton commercial. commercial. Dave, we ask you every week What's what the- you think about the sexist mm-hmm. Peloton commercial. We do this every week. You're just not on here every week to answer. So we've, we're finally... This is why we got you on the show. You want to send me a link so I can see the commercial? What? God damn it, Dave. You have Peloton commercial. commercial. I'm, I'm going to describe capital, the commercial to you. Capitalism doesn't work on me. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, so there Ray, you find link. the link, and I'm going to tell Dave about it, okay? All right. Is that... Do you know what a Peloton is, Dave? What is... No. I have no okay, clue. Okay, it's a stationary It's a stationary bike that has, like, a video screen, and it connects to your Wi-Fi, and you can take, like, online uh, cycling classes oh, sure. with instructors and shit. Yeah, it's pretty badass, right? But it costs a lot of so, money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so the commercial goes, uh, this, this dude is walking his wife and his, another kid, I guess, into a room and she's got her eyes closed and she opens them and there's this, the Peloton bike. All right, and she's all excited. And so she grabs her cell phone, she starts documenting her, her journey, her journey on the Peloton. She's like, Oh, I'm so nervous for my first class. And, and you see different stages oh. and the bike actually moves from the window down to the basement. It's all over the place and you can see her and, and she's a skinny chick to start off with. Okay. It's not like she's out of shape or anything. She's, a, she's a fit, she's a oh. fit chick. Yeah. She's pretty bad. Yeah. And then at the end of the commercial, she's watching her video that she made herself with her husband. All right. Now, some people are saying like she is with a different man, which I don't see because you don't see the man's <laughs> face in the first. Yeah. And, and they're like, why? Why is this dude giving her this Peloton when she's fit as it is? It's like a whole bunch of like shit, like people are like reading way into this commercial. And like Peloton way is actually losing much. the losing market share and market value because of this thing. <laughs> It's the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my life. It's like, maybe this wow. bitch wanted a fucking Peloton. Maybe she's like, you know what? I work nine to five. <laughs> I have an office job. I have a kid. I have a husband. I have a house, house to take care of. I can't go to a gym and exercise. I would love a Peloton. And her husband, being a good dude, was like, yo, I got an extra 3500 bucks. Let me just throw it at you, baby, because I love you. You've given me a beautiful family. You have a great job. You take good care of me. You know, we have a good thing going here. I'm going to buy you something because I care about you. Right. But, but the goddamn internet. Right. That's, fucking, that sounds like normal. Yeah. They fucking ruin everything. Like this guy's a sexist pig for getting his wife an exercise bike or this bitch <laughs> is cheating on her husband. She got herself fit and then she left him. Like, like what the fuck is happening? Like we just fucking ruin everything. So your thoughts on this tape. Wow. That's, um, <laughs> well, I'm, I, I, any sort of social justice outrage, my thoughts are pretty much the same. Like I don't really care too much about cancel culture because i mean uh, some cancel culture is necessary because there's some some of our culture is bullshit all right there's always going to be a a fringe reactionary uh Mm -hmm. element to that and people go too fucking far and you're absolutely right that's fucking ridiculous it's just a commercial um but i also i mean hey man you vote with your dollars and anytime a company you know you know, whether or not they meant to do anything, which it doesn't sound like they did, doesn't didn't they didn't mean to be controversial. Um, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's dollars, you know. We need to cancel the internet. That's what we need to do. No, I, I'm I'm completely on board with you, Dave. Like, okay, who in the Peloton meeting room, as they're discussing this commercial, is like? We need to make it more sexist. We need to make sure it looks like that guy forced <laughs> right. her on that bike every day. And she, if she didn't show him video proof after one year, you know, like, like who is who in like, how the fuck do people get this? That that is what they were going for, that this guy somehow made her. And I, I put a link in the show notes there, uh, Rem, which is the, this is the best link that I found because it is accompanied by an article where. It starts with uh, written by a lady named Katie Way, where it starts with her oh, saying torn. his hand grips her shoulder a little too tightly and basically sets up a scenario that's not even in the commercial. Oh, it it's like her her assuming that this guy is like making her ride this bike every day kind of thing. And I'm like, what? where, where did you guys get that from? When I saw the commercial, I thought... It, I, I don't know. I got none of that from it. Um, I mean, where did you guys see the commercial? Let me, on let me, TV. Man. It's not on YouTube. Let me, uh, I'll put All right, I just sent you a link. Oh, and it's in the, in the, if you go in the live show chat, <laughs> okay. so the gift that gives back. Here it is. A Peloton? Give it up for our first time riding. Hi, first ride. I'm a little nervous, but excited. <laughs> Let's do this. Five days in a row. Are you surprised? Really? She's so excited. 
6 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, hold dude, on a second. She was... walks. She walked into her house. She was holding her phone in in landscape mode, but the video was in portrait mode. So they fucked up there. But I with the sun. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be terrible. Boston, she just yeah. said a year ago. She just said her I name. Realize how much this would change me. So she did not physically holiday, change at all. So this was a oh. mental change for her because she was fit. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Listen, exercise is the I, gateway I to feeling I good. I don't, Oh well, the the best part about this article, and we should we should put this on Twitter when we're, when we release the show. But the the Twitter responses where it shows like the first one, it shows a lady on the right on her Peloton, and a guy on the left on the couch, and he's reading a magazine. And the reply from someone on Twitter says, "Sometimes I'll move the Peloton bike into our gallery <laughs> so I can spend time with my half gay husband while he reads Architectural Digest wearing <laughs> combat boots." Like, it's like the funniest <laughs> fucking shit. Like, like the, the images, right? That they, where they portray where people put the Peloton bike is hysterical. Like it, it like the places they put are completely impractical. Like this one where it's, you, you see it on this, like a little, uh, raised wooden box, essentially. And around it looks like they're in the middle of the rainforest or something like that. There's a little canopy, like wooden canopy behind it. But it says, I had my carpenter build a $9,000 finished wood riser for my Peloton bike in my glass uh, enclosed uh, Zen garden slash yeah. home gym. Like, it's uh, just that's part of this. Ridiculous. See, I don't, yeah. Eat the amazing. fucking rich, you know, like people who could afford that, that shit. Like, oh. Yeah, richstickman.com slash merchandise. You can get an eat the rich t-shirt there. <laughs> richstickman.com merchandise. Um, but the best part of this article is the last last paragraph is where it says, whether Peloton's devotees feel only genuine joy about their purchase, the universe of its advertising presents another angle. Every day is the same day. We reach out for human contact. But instead, what we are all cycling imperceptibly closer to is the void. If you want a vision of the future, imagine a frantic woman cloistered in her own home, stamping down on the pedals of her Peloton while recording it forever. Yeah, because that's what Peloton's <laughs> shooting for. Because Peloton's... Like how, how the fuck wow. do people come up with this? Like they, you have to spend so much effort to look for that in this ad. That's all I've got to say. Yeah. It, all right. Wow. Uh, yeah. Dave, do you have any thoughts on Peloton? <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's bougie bullshit that we don't fucking need. So, I mean, I don't, I don't give a fuck if they go out of business or I, I you know, like I know, right? people are going to be mad. Let them be mad hey, at whatever. Dave, let me ask yeah. you, and, you know, this is a weekly segment we do too, but we don't have a bumper for it, but why should I vote for oh. Bernie Sanders? You should. Oh, okay. Voting's, voting's rigged. Voting's rigged. All right. So I shouldn't <laughs> vote. All right. That, that's actually well, been no, 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 you, for a while. Okay. So th- this is... Th- <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Ram. I don't want to get into this with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, You should absolutely vote. Um, I don't. Why? Why wouldn't you vote for Bernie Sanders? I don't know, man. I, you know, got to convince me because I think I think everybody is trash. Well, everybody is trash, but like <laughs> Bernie Sanders is trash too. Uh, we're all fucking trash, but we're just. Well, I'm not uh, trash. I'm but we all need we we all need to be you know fucking taken care of. I mean, I know you're supposed, you, you got to take care of yourself, but I mean, yeah. when you live in a world like this, dude, like you, you need support and not everybody has it. And we have the means. Scarcity is, is completely man-made. It, this is all this is all a fucking dog and pony show for people to get fucking rich. Everything. Yeah. The entire economy is built that way. Fucking right. Not- Richstickman.com. Click the merchandise tab. Get your Eat the Rich t-shirt right now. <laughs> That's, That's right. <laughs> all right, Dave. Where you can. Let's. I'm going to get you out of that. Don't worry. We're going to do one of our most favorite segments uh, of of our show. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is now time to introduce this week's finalists for Dick of the Week, and here is our first nominee. Okay, so Ray, I'm not going to do all 20 of them that we have built up, all right? But um, Hot Drummer News Babe was nice enough to give us a call, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play hers, and we'll do this fencing one. Okay? Nice. Nice. Hey, you guys, it's Mars. So I have two potential dicks of the week for you. And if you don't want to do both, you don't have to, but they're both fast food restaurant related. So that's nice. just uncanny, really. And then I did send you guys an email about um, a, I think it was a UPS um, drug ring scam. So that's always interesting, too. 
But anywho, so this one is from yesterday out of Memphis, Tennessee. Police say a patron angered by ketchup pulled a gun at McDonald's. Oh, God. Authorities in Tennessee say an irate woman pointed a gun at fast food workers because they gave her ketchup instead of jelly. And P.S. Who knew McDonald's has <laughs> jelly? I, I didn't. Anyway, so Asia Vester, <laughs> age 20, was arrested Tuesday and charged with aggravated assault and unlawful possession of a weapon. According to a Memphis police affidavit, that Vester was in the drive through line of a McDonald's last week when she realized when she received her food and realized her request for jelly was either forgotten or unheeded. She instead received ketchup. <gasps> Words were exchanged with several employees, and Vester was accused of pulling out a gun and pointing it at them. The affidavit says surveillance video led police to Vester. Since she's under 21, it's illegal for her to possess a weapon. She was scheduled to appear in court yesterday, and it was unclear at press time whether she had an attorney. So, look, we all have our preferences, right? And, you know, who knows? They probably just grabbed a packet of ketchup by accident. Probably not grounds to pull a gun on well, no, it's the person at the McDonald's window. Yeah, probably? No. Yeah. So, all right. So the first story we have here is a woman pulled a gun on a McDonald's employee because she got uh, ketchup instead of jelly, Dave. Um you ever pull a gun on somebody ridiculous. because you got uh, you got something you didn't order? No, I've never pulled a gun on someone. So hey, there's the gun. You're in Arizona. What are you yeah. talking about? Well, yeah. oh, it, my big takeaway from this is, is I'm absolutely not at all surprised that some asshole did something like this. I mean, it is America. <laughs> um, but my biggest takeaway is, is that uh, I didn't know you had to be 21 to own a gun in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. Dave, how many guns do you own? Uh, I don't anymore. Not anymore. Okay. I, I used to, I, I used to have a handgun, uh, a rifle, and a shotgun. Okay. Um, and uh, when I got divorced from the the misses, uh, I used two of the guns to like fund my move or whatever. Okay. And then I sold the shotgun finally. Uh, I I used to like to bird hunt a lot. That's why I kept the shotgun. Um, hmm. And uh, but I ended up selling it for a guitar. Did you eat the birds hmm. or you just? Yes. Just, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We, we uh, go well, quail hunting. Nice. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, quail's yeah, good. We're going to have to have Dave back again, uh, Ray. Yeah. So remember that. All right. Oh, let's keep going here because Mars, is, Mars is another one. Anyway, story. The other story, if you want it, is <laughs> equally messed up. I do want it. And um, <laughs> hold on. Here we go. Okay. This is out of Oakwood, Georgia. <laughs> Police in Georgia say a man called out of his steak and shakes job because he was, quote, intoxicated, and then he showed up anyway and demanded money while holding a coworker at gunpoint. Oh, Christ. The Gainesville Times report 20-year-old Cantarius Gowans of Flowery Branch is charged with offenses including aggravated assault. An Oakwood police investigator says he called out of work on Thanksgiving, then went to the restaurant that night and then held, and held a gun to a coworker's head and demanded money. <laughs> Police say responding officers arrived to see employees running from the business, which had customers at the time. Uh, Police say apparently a still intoxicated Gowans briefly raised the gun at them before dropping it. He was arrested after a brief struggle, during which a stun gun was deployed. It's unclear if he has a lawyer. I'm going to say no. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy. You've got some choices there. Um, we'll see what Spenson comes up with, but uh, have a good rest of the night. Bah. All right, so we've got an employee called out of work on Thanksgiving, but then showed up and pulled a gun on a coworker's head demanding money. Uh, neither of these stories are out of Florida. One is in Tennessee and the other is in Georgia. Dave, what do you think about this well, they're, one? They're all in the south, though. Yeah, they might have moved yeah. from just, just out of the state of that's, Florida. Pretty close. <laughs> yeah, they, that's from well Florida. within the influence mm -hmm. yeah. of Florida's mm -hmm. radius there. They were on vacation mm -hmm. from Florida to those locations. <laughs> Dave, have you, you ever to go gotten back intoxicated? To <laughs> have you ever gotten intoxicated and held a, a friend at gunpoint demanding money or drugs or something? Friend or fellow no. employee? No. 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 Okay. I have mm. never done anything of the sort. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while for me. Ray, how about you? Have you ever done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, we have a weekly segment on that um, where is it, did Ray... <laughs> Did Ray hold a, yeah, a we, fellow employee at gunpoint? Um, we skipped that this one this week. week. Yeah. yeah, we skipped, All we right. skipped it this week, but yeah. Ray, read me read me the um, – now, now, Mars did send us a thing about our drug shipment. We'll save that for next week. Uh, read me the Svensson okay. thing you have. All right. So Svensson Our third Twitter, nominee. Yeah. This was not submitted but uh, by Svensson, but we extracted We're desperate for Twitter. Svensson content. Yeah. Yeah, we just <laughs> want a little Svensson in our week. So mm -hmm. Svensson complained about the laws of dating attraction. 
He has three bullet points. Number one, people who you are attracted to, you are not. Wait, sorry, I, I read that wrong. People who yeah, get, get your shit together. you are attractive to, you are not attracted to. Yeah. Two, people you are attracted to are not attracted to you. Mm-hmm. And three, people who are not attracted to you are not attractive to the people you aren't attracted to. This is what why dating fuck? is so hard. Yeah. It's, what yeah. do you think, yeah. Dave? What do you think about all that? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, it reminds me of a, uh, a, like an article about a study I read. Um, the, so they, they, they made well, like 40 women and 40 men sleep in, in a white t-shirt. And then, uh, the next day they had the men and the women like smell each individual t-shirt mm-hmm. and they picked you know, which was the most attractive to them or whatever, you know, whatever, which one, you know, that they liked the best. And it was always the stark opposite. So if it was a blonde, blonde lady with fair skin, it was like, you know, a black dude. (laughs) So weird. Wow. I don't know why I thought of that, but it's probably because I'm really, really fucked up in the head. Yeah. it's it's, You can't trust your visuals. You can't trust just your eyeballs. You got to use your, your, your smellers. Your pheromones. You got your yeah, sniffer. That's why I'm into disadvantage. I don't, yeah. Yeah, Ray can't smell, hard. Dave. I don't, I don't I know if you knew smell. that. Ray it's has no up. sense of smell. Why you gotta, Is it why dyslexia? You shit about my. Why, why you gotta bring because, up the fact that I can't smell? Because you can't smell, you bitch, and I can I can make fun of it all I want. Because fuck you, oh, I'm swimming, smell, not swimming. spell. <laughs> spell can't. <smell. laughs> so Ray, yeah. well, that's something we share in common. Oh, what? Um, yeah, I don't smell anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. For how long? What the fuck is my life where I know what? two people who can't smell? What the fuck? This uh, is crazy. Since, since 2011, since my first surgery, pretty much. With oh, the, okay. okay. It, you, guys, you guys are aware of that fucking crazy thing about me with the fucking tumor in my, my skull and all that shit? And the hole in your face, right? I didn't oh, want to bring that up. Yeah, the hole in my face, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that, ever yeah. since that happened, I don't smell a thing, bro. It's nice. So... Do you wear your sunglasses everywhere all the time, or do you like own that hole? Nah. Just like show it off. I own the hole for the most part. Yeah. How do you keep it clean? Like, uh, like, how do you keep uh, shit from falling into it? Uh, carefully, you know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep my head all swivel. <laughs> gotta stay frosty, you know. Yeah, all right. You got seven other holes in your head. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is what I get asked all the time. So I'll ask you: Can you still taste? Uh, yeah, but not as well. Okay. That's why I, 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 I'm into, I'm into like goat cheese and, you know, like, like stuff <laughs> that's pretty, cheese. uh, pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> pungent because <laughs> I don't really cheese. taste it. I like hot sauce, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Fuck, man. Like, okay. You guys are fucking well, like superheroes, because, man. Yeah. So, so check this out. Cause I, I don't ever remember being able to smell. So I don't have a reference point. So when people ask me, can I taste? I'm like, well, fuck yeah, I can taste or shit that tastes nasty. Like what, like, what do you mean? I, I don't just eat everything. Go, oh, it, it tastes the same. Right. So, but that's what it's, I was always, I have always felt like, yes, you have taste buds on your tongue. They work, right? Obviously, if you have the sen- sense of smell, it's going to supplement it, the taste. It enhances right? it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I would say is I'm sure I have a different sense of taste. Because it's right. supplemented by the smell, but no, but that's interesting that you're saying it is slightly different. So that kind of validates uh, what I've felt because it's not just because someone's like, "Oh, well, I've had a cold, so I couldn't smell." I'm like, eh, I don't, "God I don't damn know it, Ray! You, you're fucking <laughs> the, the most interesting thing about the two of you is that you're fucking making it boring." Oh, Ray. whatever. Like, like, so, like, so Dave, can can do, if, like, for money, Dave can get down there and like eat a whole bunch of ass and not like not even worry about anything. That's what he's right. saying. I won't even smell it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah we do it, it all the I, time. It, hey, if there's ever puke, I can clean it up pretty much like yeah. and not gag, See? you know, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Like when my dog, my dog, my old ass dog who's fucking dying, and I got to get like a, like a, I got to get like an end of life consult on this fucking dog. Like he's shit in the house this morning, right? And Dave or you could have picked that up. No problem. Here I am like, bleh, bleh, you know, trying to get all that <laughs> off, the, off the fucking carpet while I'm trying to go to work. Yeah, you're making it sound like fucking it's glamorous. Dogs. It literally comes down to this. My wife's like, oh, the baby pooped. I'm like, fuck. Like every single time, right? Like it's not, it's not that so great. Glamorous. <laughs> it's glamorous. It's, well, 
right. Well, all right. Gentlemen, we have to find the dick of the week, all right? So I got to right. All right. The incredibly handsome People that can expert smell. judges have come to the consensus that this week's dick of the week award goes to... All right. Dave, I don't know. You're our guest. So I'm going to let you go first, but I don't know how we're going to work Svensson's rules of attractiveness uh, into dick of the week. Um, but... What are you thinking? Is it uh, the woman who pulled the gun on McDonald's employee uh, or the guy who pulled the gun on a coworker to get money or Svensson's laws of attraction? Where, where, where are you leaning, pal? Oh, I'm going to say Svensson's laws of attraction pissed me off way more than the other two. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. You have a reason for that or you just, you just can go with it. I, I, well, I don't like being confused. Ah. And yeah, that, 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 was, that was really hard to follow. And. Um, uh, you know, I don't like admitting that I'm, you know, uh, not yeah. smart. So I hear you. Me either. That made me. That made me. You know, really take a look at myself. Hmm. So fuck right. off, Spencer. So one, one vote for Spencer. All right, Ray. What are you thinking, pal? <laughs> I was gonna say the lady who pulled the gun at McDonald's, and the reason yeah. being that was very spontaneous, as opposed to I think that maybe the other guy was trying to get fired by going back to his place of employment. Y- mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't Thanksgiving, he, like he had some drinks, like it's it, it's not spur of the moment. He, he could, you know, he's inebriated and possibly trying yeah. to get fired. Whereas who hasn't pulled just, a gun when they get drunk? Right. It, yeah, it happens all the time. So yeah, this is a weekly yeah. segment. Says yeah. Uh-huh. And and as much as it's really confusing, what Svensson did, uh, it it wasn't I don't think yeah. intentionally dick like. So I'd have to go with the the lady. So right. I, I'm I'm agreeing with you, but for a different reason. Okay, now, Dave, I respect you uh, in, in your your decision to go with Svensson. I don't like being confused either, but I kind of understand what Svensson's saying here. You know, Svensson, yeah, uh, we knowing Svensson as we do, this isn't atypical for him, and and I get what he's saying. All right, but who's this bitch think she is getting jelly at McDonald's? Like, first of all, yeah, one, you have to be pa- in breakfast time to get jelly if they even have fucking jelly. OK. And number two, if this bitch do. is ordering like a, a cheeseburger and French fries and she's asking for jelly. No, fuck you. You don't get jelly with that. I would. In, if I was an employee at McDonald's, absolutely not. I'd say, no, we're out of jelly or here's ketchup. You do not get jelly with your goddamn cheeseburger and your French fries because now you're just being you, you're either. First of all, you're either stupid or you're being difficult or you're just you're just trying to be an asshole. All right. On purpose. And all three of those, you do not get jelly for. So go fuck yourself. You're the dick of the week, you stupid asshole. And you can't own a gun pe- below under 21 in fucking Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis. whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah, fuck your state as well. Fuck that. So you're the dick of the <laughs> fuck week. Fuck the whole South. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. With their, the with their grits South. and their country music and their crazy and their Florida people. Shambalaya and their. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm just curious here, Ray. Curious as to what this is. <laughs> oh, there's. And now it's time for that weekly segment where we ask MJ or LeBron. Oh, <laughs> MJ or LeBron? Shit! All right, I'm gonna go MJ because God, you know, I grew up with MJ. Ray, how about you? Yeah, you definitely gotta go MJ. MJ is different yeah. era. Where you can I've, heard, I've heard Michael Jackson is, or, or I'm sorry, Michael Jordan is racist as fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, we're all a little. Uh, he's a gambler, a racist, right? Like he, gambles. I've heard that too. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm um, uh, with LeBron James and Michael Michael Jordan. Those are yeah. my choices. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Mm. I don't know, Michael Jordan. I guess. Yeah. Just because I, <laughs> I guess. Know. I've I've yeah, seen I've that's back when I watched basketball, you know. Yeah. Back when I gave a shit. And I didn't yeah, even I gotta really tell give you, a shit. Dave, you know, Ray and I go back and forth with this question every single week. Yeah, it is a weekly a segment lot, we yes. do. But the answer never changes. I'll, it's always MJ. You. It's always it's always Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean <laughs> LeBron LeBron's in a stat inflated era. That's it's plain and simple. He is a great mm. player, but the the stats are inflated in this generation. So Yeah. You got you gotta All go right. with MJ. <sighs> Man, this has been fun, Dave. I'm I'm having a blast here. How about you? You having a good time? Uh, yeah, well, everything except for this last bit about the sports. <laughs> yeah, no the sports. You know <laughs> well, what? Do so a, sports is a, is a touchy subject. We have other weekly we segments see. we could do that are non sports related. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, you've got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> we certainly do. I mean, absolutely. Like this one. We've and now it's more. time for that <laughs> weekly segment where we reveal to our guest. Who their real father is? Oh shit! For real? It's, it's Dude, Bono. 
for real? I'm rich? <laughs> Actually, it's Bono, bro. <laughs> I need it all that bottle, that sweet, sweet uh, Joshua tree money. <laughs> this is the best segment ever. I love that we do this every week. It's yeah, so we great. Matt. We did this for Lisa and Lindsay. We did this for, for Tom. Everybody. Oh, you did it. Yes, what we did this for Bella Benz. About? We listen to this every for episode. Elisa May. We've listened to all the last three episodes. We do yeah. this every week for the Bob Ross Shut podcast. The we do this for them. We've done it for the Swingers. Oh, oh man, it's been, yep. it's been yeah, it's it's great. I love this segment. Oh, love you know, everyone always wonders. I think me, I wonder who my real father is, and uh, <laughs> I do, I do a lot. <laughs> Maybe it's like Bill Gates or something. Why <laughs> did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> You, dude, you have no idea. Dude. <laughs> okay, stop it. All right, let's go laughing. All right, Dave, Dave, I, I'm so yes, happy sir. you came on. You came on tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this one up. Why don't you go ahead and tell us everything about you and how we can find you and your podcast and all your friends, and all your great shows, and, and all that stuff. Uh, the one stop shop is nfhcpodcast.com. Uh, it's got all our links um, in there. Uh, we've got a Patreon. We've got a YouTube channel. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have a Pornhub channel. Uh, that's pornhub.com slash users slash nfhcpodcast.com. And the reason we have a Pornhub channel is because we watch watch a lot of fucked up videos. <laughs> you watch and, assholes. Uh, literally. Yeah, literal I assholes. Mean, literally. Yeah, inside out assholes. And um, we need a place to put that stuff. Like, we put it on YouTube, but, like, a lot of it's censored or we just, like, bl- you know, black yeah. the whole segment. Um, uh, but uh, so you can see the unedited shit there. Uh, and uh, we got merch. Uh, we got one of them uh, arena or you know, whatever. Uh, that's on nfhspodcast.com slash store. Uh, Discord, uh, you can find that info. It's some cryptic, you know, crazy <laughs> algorithm thing. Tiny you can find that on, on our website. Um, we, uh, uh, my buddy Matt, uh, he streams. Uh, it's uh, Grim Wolf Prime, twitch.com slash Grim Wolf Prime. Oh, shit. You're promoting uh, me too. Good for you, bro. God yeah, damn. that's so nice. I, I saw him playing some Call of Duty. The other day, uh, with Dylan and I thought, man, it'd be, I, they were playing the two on two gunfights, which is pretty fun in Call of Duty. But I was like, man, I need to get on there and play with those guys. Yeah, play. it's a lot of yeah. fun on there. It's a fun thing. Hey, Dave, I gotta and, ask you. Um, I appreciate you guys oh. uh, having me on. It was a lot of fun. I, I didn't think it was going to be fun. I was honestly like, <laughs> yeah, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey Dave, um, I've asked this question uh, a few times. When when um, you know, how, there's been times I've been on, with, I've talked, I've chatted with you guys, but it hasn't been recorded or whatever it was. Um, when when Hulhauser was on your show, Fuck, yeah, that was some, so funny. Some, yeah, <laughs> I I I I can't get the answer that I'm looking for. I don't know that I'm looking for an answer. I can't get the straight answer because nobody knows how to answer. I guess. But when you guys hung up. When when Hulhauser's call was finished, all right, and you guys went to break at that episode, like, what what's the reaction? What, what's the response? Like, what are you guys saying to each other? Like, what the fuck was that? Or you know, what the hell's happening here? Like, because he was so drunk and out of control, probably different than anything you've ever experienced before doing that podcast at that point. <laughs> like, what? Yes, so what no. was the feeling? Like, you know? the the well, the feeling was like, wow. Like, I felt like, holy shit, I just witnessed comedy gold. You know, yeah. like that was, that was fucking, most of it was pure genius, you know, and some of it was incoherent, but <laughs> that's how we roll. And yeah. I, I've got to say, and I'm not tooting my own horn about my own show or anything like that, but I haven't laughed harder ever um, listening to or anything than I have partaking in that show. And there's, there's a lot of stupid, dumb bullshit that we just fucking falls out the front of our faces. Um, mm. And you got to get through some of that garbage to get to the fucking gold because Jesus Christ, it's in there. It's a, plug uh, for I, our friend's garbage and a lot of times it, 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 I'll tell you what, I, I always thought I wanted to like riff with, with Huel. I think it would have been a lot of fucking fun to, to like, I don't, it would have been amazing in, in, in to be in the same room with him and, and record a show somehow uh, oh, about yeah. something. It would, I would have been, yeah. that would have been great. Having spent real life time oh. with the man. Oh my God, he is, I have he is something special. I I have. He, he came out to Connecticut a few years ago, and um, it was just 
which is amazing from start to finish. Um, I mean, he came out in Connecticut, think- right? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no I was just going to say, I still think that uh, um, uh, Ray is actually Huel Hauser. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you can make just, that confusion, but hey, I'll just take not it. drunk. If that's it. yeah, <laughs> you just toned it down. <laughs> when 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 Huel came out to Connecticut, he he stuffed a bunch of bottles of liquor in his suitcase. He was giving them as gifts to us, but a few of them broke, so his whole suitcase got soaked in, in liquor. Whoa. So he he was stuck. He was stuck in the suit he flew in. Like he wore a suit to work and jumped on a plane that night, and he was stuck in that same suit for the rest of the weekend because the rest of his clothes were soaked in liquor, and it was just fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ray, uh, plug your shit, Ray. Uh, so uh, on Twitter at Jules Winfeld, mm-hmm. if you uh, catch me on Twitch every once in a while, uh, which we did some golf uh, a week or two ago. That was pretty fun. Oh, I still got to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that with you. The only, yeah, yeah, it is. It's fun to just talk trash. I got to figure out the, uh, the audio on it because it was a one sided conversation on, uh, arguing about the, how the union works. <laughs> it's pretty entertaining. Jesus. Uh, but that's twitch.tv slash Jules Winfeld. Um, but yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's pretty much how you find me online and, uh, here. All right. All right. So if you haven't checked out NFHC podcast, I've been talking about them for a while now. You should. We've been going at it for, God, over a year now, Dave. So you really check them out. Yeah. NFHCpodcast.com. I love those guys. I love that show. It's taken place. It is the second show I listen to on Tuesdays. And, um, yeah, you know, garbage and gold is first because there's 37 minutes and it's a great show. So check out garbage and gold. Check out NFHC podcast and the thought cops, their little sisters and our buddies, uh, Tom and Cody and Mike and Travis at Roast Mortem. Uh, <laughs> All those guys, all great shows. So if you're looking for something fun to listen to, check them out. Dave, thank you so much for coming on. You can Thanks check us out. Yeah, absolutely, man. At richstickman.com, as you can find all your Rich Stickman needs, click the merch tab and get your Eat the Rich t-shirt, right? And what better way to, yeah. to, to, to promote eating the rich than by capitalism? So get your Eat the Rich yeah. t-shirt. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, embroidered uh, berets with uh, little Che Guevara's on them. Oh shit! You know, Ray, we really yeah. got to sit here since we since we no longer have a active Patreon, uh, patreoncom Um We gotta we gotta really get into the merchandise side side of things, and you know, we really gotta you know, with the new year, Ray, that should be our resolution. But you know, you and I were still waiting to to hear about our contracts past episode one hundred, so we'll see mm-hmm. how that's going. Uh, we haven't begun negotiations with Mister Dickman yet. Uh, I'm I'm sure come January first we'll be starting to schedule those meetings, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the, all right, that might um, turn into a weekly ahead. segment. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, you know, those those weekly segments that we do every week has been you know they're really keeping the show going. So thank you. Call yeah, a voicemail eight six zero three one six four seven seven six again eight six zero three one six four seven seven six if you have a Dick of the Week nominee like Hot Drummer News Babe does, or if you have anything you want to say or talk shit, uh, that's fine. We'll play it because why not? Yep, and Svensson, I mean it. Uh, we need, we need, we need Svensson back. Otherwise, otherwise, I will be forced to improvise the Svensson rant. And I'm not, I'm not that good with that stuff. I can improvise a lot of stuff. What else am I missing? <laughs> at Rich Dickman Show on Twitter. Uh, and, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Rem Dickman. And you can follow my mother on Twitter at Rem underscore mama. Dave, uh, you don't use Twitter, even though you're on Twitter. How the hell do, are you following my mother? I am. Yeah. You are because I'm I clicked on my mother's your followers. Mom? You follow my mother, yes. I, she must have followed me because I only no. follow people. I follow back. Like I don't. She followed you after I made a stink about this on Twitter. Again, you don't use Twitter, so you didn't see this. But I'm, I clicked on my mother's followers for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, I, I saw uh, all the old people. Bad. You're, you're you're so bad. My mom's the baddest <laughs> bitch in the planet, bro. Okay, so watch out. Um, but yeah, for some reason, Dave, you followed her, and she followed you back. So. God damn, hey. you know what, Ray? Next next episode of NFHC Podcast is going to be feature Mama Rem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God <laughs> damn it. She's yeah. Gonna Hello, producer Ryan. Like, How have I not heard of this? How have I not fucking heard of this? <laughs> no. Uh, producer Ryan at uh, Ryan TRDS. And you can follow uh, Randy at C0 with an E. Thank you all so much for listening. This has been a great time. I, I enjoy doing this for you. Um, yeah, that's it. We'll talk to you next week. We'll be back with episode, goddamn, episode 85 next week, Ray. Holy shit. Good night. Wow, we're old. Later, guys. Boners. See you. Super old. Super old. Hey, Dave, don't stop talking because we do a post show real quick. Like, okay. There's music playing and like you can say funny oh. things. 
and then I cut oh. it off at the wrong time, and it just sounds even funnier. <laughs> Got mm-hmm. it. Wow! Hey, <laughs> thanks for having me on, guys. Hey, <laughs> that's right. I think I'm gonna get yeah, some of that crazy cactus that beard bomb for my brother-in-law. Saying stuff. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, cactus beard bomb. Ooh, yeah. Crazy, crazy cactus, cactus beard bomb. Black <laughs> hey, Do you actually use that stuff, Dave? Do you actually yeah, put I do. like? I do. Yeah. So, what does it do for your beard? Does it shine it up or just make it smell nice? It makes yeah, it shines it up. Uh, it keeps it like not coarse. I, just, I got that southern Italian beard, you know. Hmm, doesn't yeah. grow straight at all. <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's thick. It's like pubic hair. And yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh, yeah. and it's like pubic hair unless I grease it up with beard balm. Wow. All right. So I have a so my brother in law on your pubic hair. You can. Ooh. Yeah, I do that stuff too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, pro tip: nights. leftover beard balm is is just just hair balm. Yeah. Yeah. Ray, mm-hmm. you fucking there you you fucking degenerate. My uh, my brother in law <laughs> started growing a beard like last year, and I'm thinking of getting him some crazy cactus beard balm for Christmas. Um, do it and a wooden yeah, comb. Did you say he wouldn't, wouldn't come? Is oh, oh, wooden wooden comb. Comb. he wouldn't, and he wouldn't come. <laughs> and he wouldn't come. He wouldn't come. <laughs> Get him some crazy cactus <laughs> beard balm, and he wouldn't. I can't come. freaking come. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, I grew a little bit of a of a of a little bit of a stubble beard because I have a very weak chin, uh, as, as Fuck, Matt Chuck. called it, rem chin, a few weeks ago. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Uh, so I grew a little bit of a stubble beard to to highlight my chin. I don't think I need crazy cactus beard balm for that, but this guy has a full on beard. Yeah, if so it's I'm, if it's short, yeah, I mean, if it's short, yeah. you don't need it. But yeah, I mean, it's all it's right. it. Although it's it's a lot of shit, it smells great. So there's that. Yeah. What uh, yeah. what flavor are you using? Uh, I, I'm, I'm still stuck. Like I've used them all, but my favorite is still the vulgar display of moisture. And now it's time for that segment we do every week where we thank our Patreon supporters. Thank you, Maddie, our resident Australian for supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash rich Dickman. 